It is trade deadline week around the National Hockey League and the Calgary Flames hold one of the biggest trade chips on the market. That star player, defenseman Noah Hannafin, has announced his preferred destination and where he would love to end up come the Friday deadline. Can a trade be consummated between that team and the Calgary Flames? What does the return look like? And is there a sign and trade in the cards with Noah Hannafin? We'll answer all of those questions today on the show but before we get there, I want to thank everyone for joining us here on Flame Digest. I am John Easthope. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the journey of the Calgary Flames. For all your latest news and notes around the team, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat. We'd love to have you along for the ride as we creep closer and closer to the Friday trade deadline. Well, Noah Hannafin is one of the biggest pieces on the market, no doubt. There is a lot of suitors for the 27-year-old smooth skating defenseman. He's played 60 games this year. He has 35 points, including 11 goals, and is coveted by many teams looking to make a deep playoff run. Well, Noah Hannafin knows all of this, but he has a preferred destination. And, well, it's one place that he'd love to end up and sign a long-term extension with. So let's jump into the report by Elliot Friedman today on his 32 Thoughts podcast. When it comes to Hannafin, he is focused on a place and they're focusing on a place where he wants to sign an extension. The belief is that the Tampa Bay Lightnings are that team and that Tampa Bay is his number one choice. Now, Elliot Freeman, this is from him. I think if it was easy to do, it would have been done already. So everyone continues to work at it. We'll see how it goes over the next week. I believe there is his preferred destination. But if they can't make it work with the Lightning, that's the thing of the Flames, we'll see how that develops and how Calgary and Hannafin proceed. Tampa Bay, that's his preferred destination. It is an interesting choice to want to go to the Lightning. The market's a great market, a, a team that's known for winning and a good culture down there. Noah Hannafin would do very well in that market on that team as he progresses on his, in his career here. The question then turns to the Calgary Flames and can they make a deal work? And what would that deal look like? Well, how likely is this deal to even come about? We turn to more reports from insiders. Frank Saravelli from Daily Faceoff. His word he uses is complex. Uh, by folks like Saravelli, Freeman, and Pierre Lebrun, we've heard a variation of things being said that the Flames would maximize their trade return for Hannafin if they send him somewhere he'll sign an extension or even a sign-in trade. If he's a pure rental, the return obviously would be lower. So the Flames would have an incentive to work with the players' camp to make a trade work. There is worth noting that Hannafin has a 10-team no-trade list. Clearly the Lightning are not on that. Uh, and there are some other hoops, the salary cap, that these teams would have to jump through to make this trade work for both sides. So the likeliness of it happening, who knows? But Noah Hannafin would love to end up in Tampa Bay with the Lightning. And the Flames would love to maximize the return. So a sign-in trade seems to be a really good possibility. We've seen the Flames do this in the past with Matthew Kachuk where they traded with the Florida Panthers and the big return they got in that deal. Can they facilitate something that would be along the lines of that? What does a package look like in return for the Calgary Flames. What can they possibly hope to get from Tampa Bay given the reports we reported already from Eric Francis? Eric Francis has indicated a potential Noah Hannafin return could yield the Flames a hefty return including a first round draft pick, a top prospect and a roster player. How does this package and this ask line up against what the Tampa Bay Lightnings have to offer on the market? Well, we go to the uh, Tampa Bay News now, a bit of a longer report here, but it's one that highlights a few things that might interest Craig Conroy and the Calgary Flames. On the prospect front, the Flames have wanted a center. Well, the Tampa Bay Lightnings do not have a centerman that the Flames would covet. But there is a pair of promising wingers in left winger Isaac Howard, who they just drafted, and right flanker Ethan Goche, who, worth noting, 
He is the son of former Flame defenseman Denny Goche. The senior Goche was no stranger to hard work, and that's the characteristics of his 19-year-old son. He's not overly flashy, but was a 30-goal and a point-per-game player in the QMJHL last season, and it's cracked that mark yet again this season with 32 goals, 62 points through 55 games for the Drummondville Voyeurs. Great season for Mr. Goche. Howard, on the other hand, who is in the NCAA, he transferred into the Big Ten this year, joining Michigan State. He has 8 goals, 31 points in 32 games. Howard is described as more of a playmaker at this stage, but is strong, confident, and both of these forwards listed um, could develop into top six players in the National Hockey League and fill big roles for the Flames. Now, there's a third player listed in this article, and it's worth noting the Flames have already traded for two defensemen in their prospect pool in previous trades um, that they have made this season. But Jack Thompson is a right-handed defenseman. Uh, he's developing well at the AHL level with a handful of goals and 32 points in 46 games. He was a former third-round pick in 2020 uh, for Tampa Bay. Now, this is where the package gets interesting. If, for example, the Flames were to acquire a choice or two of these prospects along with a first rounder in 2026, we'll talk about that in a second, and a third or second rounder in 25, it might work to entice the Flames to trade the 27-year-old Hannafin. A lot of people will raise an eyebrow at why a 2026 first rounder. Well, that's the first available one to the Tampa Bay Lightning that they are available to trade. Would it do benefit the Flames to trade for a pick that far in the future? It is very likely that the Flames could tra trade for that draft pick. Now, it's in my opinion, it's worth having multiple draft picks in multiple seasons to greater enhance your draft pool and your prospect cupboards. It doesn't always have to be the current draft year. The Calgary Flames will no doubt be working the phones all week long in trying to build bigger value for Noah Hannafin. How many games will Hannafin play this week for the Calgary Flames ahead of the deadline? Does he get moved before Friday's deadline? We'll be on obviously on alert for that as the Flames have made a lot of midweek trades early in the trade season as to get ahead of the pack. There is no doubt that Tampa Bay will covet this player will covet with an extension. A sign and trade, as mentioned, might be the way to go here if you are the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Calgary Flames to maximize the value of Noah Hannafin. Where does he end up? We don't know. But right now, Noah Hannafin is rumored to be wanting to be a member of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Can the Flames make it make it work? Does Tampa Bay have the stomach to make it work? And is there a blockbuster in the works? Time will tell.